Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I will be presenting our work uh, MSEGNet with adaptive class weighting loss for semantic segmentation. This is John's work with uh, Michael Kampfmeyer, Robert Jensen, and uh, Armbrolle Saburg. Uh, the motivation of our work is to uh, find a better method to model the global context information for semantic segmentation tasks. Since the traditional convolution networks are not so efficient in capturing long-range dependencies, because these models typically rely on deep and uh, wide multi-scale convolution network uh, architectures, uh, for instance, the famous units and the FPIN-based models. And also, uh, modeling global context relationships typically demands a large number of parameters and uh, consume huge computational resources, like the DeepLab V3 based models and uh, non local uh, new networks, and so on. So, uh, to address these issues mentioned above, we uh, proposed a novel uh, model structure, namely the self-constructing graph module, SEG module. It's designed to uh, learn global context relations directly from a 2D feature map. And uh, the graph convolution network, GSIM, is then exploited to um, aggregate the global uh, relationships to update the node features. It's based on the newly constructed graph structure. And also to boost uh, um, the basic SEG module, we extended the module to take augmented multi-view input features. For example, we rotate the uh, feature maps into different degrees, and then the updated multi-view representations are fused together to project back to onto, uh, onto the 2D domain. So we call it MSGNet, multi-view self-constructing graph network. Uh, in order to tackle the imbalanced class issues, we also uh, proposed the new loss function, namely the adaptive class weighting loss. Basically, it makes use of uh, positive and negative loss, uh, negative class, fun class function with the adaptive class weighting method. The design of adaptive class weighting is uh, basically to uh, iteratively compute the weights. Uh, from batch to batch according to the uh, media frequency um, balance method instead of use the older uh, pre-compute uh, fixed weights over the whole data set. And also the design of the positive negative class balance function allows the proper balancing of negative samples during the training process. Well, so um, we finally test uh, and uh, train and test our proposed method on the agriculture vision training data set. Uh, the first table shows uh, our results with a single model, single scale, and a single fit, uh, fit forward inference. Um, compared to the baseline model, uh, DeepLab V3 plus ResNet 50, our single model, the MSGNet 50, uh, achieves above 7% higher mean ROU than the DeepLab V3 plus. And moreover, our model has much fewer uh, trainable parameters 
and uh, very low commutative cost compared to the developed best models. The below table shows the uh, details about the, the parameter size and the flow pools and the inference time on CPU and GPU uh, separately. We also conducted the uh, ablation studies to uh, demonstrate that our proposed multi-view uh, strategies and uh, the adaptive class weighting loss function uh, can progressively improve the model's performance. The figures and the tables shows um, our model, uh, for example, uh, the MSEG ASCW model, um, which obtained over 7% higher accuracy than the vanilla SEG with the dice loss model. Okay, to sum up, uh, in this work, we proposed the uh, noble um, neural networks for the uh, semantic segmentation tasks, so called the MSG net, which effectively extends the SEG module to capture multi view global context representations with the rotation invariance in the uh, aerobone images. And also, we propose the novel adapt adaptive class weighting loss, which can uh, alleviate the issue of class imbalance, which is commonly found uh, in, uh, in semantic segmentation tasks. And our uh, single model uh, MSG net 50 achieves uh, um, very competitive results on the Turing dataset. Uh, but with uh, much fewer parameters and more computational efficiency compared to the, bet, um, the baseline models. And finally, our code and the trained models are available at the GitHub. Uh, you're welcome to check out. Uh, here is the reference. And um, thanks for your attention. And many thanks to the agriculture vision organizer. And again, the check out the code at the GitHub. Thanks. <laughs>